In this lecture, we are going to understand a very simple concept in JavaScript, which is event bubbling. And it is also a very important interview question. So what is event bubbling? Event bubbling is a fundamental concept in JavaScript document object model, that is DOM, that governs how events propagate through nested elements. And it defines the order in which the event listeners are triggered when an event occurs on an element within a nested element structure. Now, this statement might be a bit confusing, so let's try to understand it practically. So here we have our application. In this application, we are adding this header. In that header, we have this text, DOM manipulation. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add this header inside a div. And then I'm going to add another div. Inside that, I'm going to have a span. And inside that, I'm going to add a button. Okay, and this button, let's say, login. Now, let's go ahead and let's add some style for this div and this div. So on this, I'm going to add a class. So let's go ahead and let's add some CSS class. I have saved this file. Let's go to style.css. And there, if I scroll up, we have this header here. Now, instead of adding all this CSS class on that header, and we are going to add it on header title. Let me also add some CSS style on header. Okay. And then I'm going to add display flex. And for this header title, I am going to set the width to, let's say, 80%. And then we have another CSS class, header login. For that, I'm going to set this CSS class, the width to 20%. Let's save the changes. And now you can see that login button. And there also what I will do is I'll add some padding. Now on this button also, let's add a CSS class. Let's call it login button. And let's set some CSS styles for this login button. Let's also save this file. Let's change the width to 30% here, or maybe 25% here and 75% here. Okay, now it's okay. And this much of style should be enough. Let's save the changes. All right, now let's go back to our index.html file. So here, if you see, first we have header. Inside that header, we have a div. Inside that div, we have a span. Actually, we don't need this span at all, so I'll remove that span. Okay, so this button is nested inside three divs. First, we have this header. Inside that, we have this nested div. And inside that, we have this nested button. So this button is child of this div. And this div is child of this header. Now, what we are going to do is, on this button element, I am going to listen for click event. And whenever the click event happens, let's say I want to show an alert message saying button clicked. Okay. And what we are also going to do is we are going to add this on click on the parent elements of this button element also. So for this button element, this div is a parent element. On that also, I'm going to add on click. So on this div also, we want to listen for click event. And then on this header also, we want to listen for click event. And here, let's say header clicked. And here, let's say div clicked. Let's save the changes. Now, just notice what happens when I click on this button element. So when I click this login button, you will see that we have this message button clicked because on this button element, we have added this on click. So whenever that button will be clicked, we are displaying the alert window with the message button clicked. So this is okay. But as soon as I click on this OK button, you will see another alert window, which says div clicked. And this message we are displaying by adding on click event handler on this div element. So when the div element will be clicked, this div clicked message will be displayed. And when I click on this OK button again, you will see that header clicked is also displayed. So you see, we only clicked on this button element, but the click event is propagated from the child element, from this button element to its parent element to the div. So on that also, the click event was handled and then it was propagated to its parent element, which is this header. And on that also, the click event was handled. So we just clicked the button element, but the click event was handled 
on the parent elements also and this is called as event bubbling the process of event bubbling starts with the element that triggers the event and then it bubbles up to the containing elements in the hierarchy now instead of clicking this button if i click let's say the div inside which this button element is there you see it says div clicked and when i click on this ok button it is propagated to its parent element which is this header and on that also the click event was handled and it says header clicked so this is event propagation event bubbling now what i will do is i will remove the click event from this button okay so on the button now we don't have click event but when i click on this button since this button is present inside this div and the click event will be propagated from the button to the div you will see the alert window with the message div clicked let's actually see that let's click this button and you will see this message div clicked we clicked on the button we are not handling click event on that button element but the click event has happened on this button element we are not handling it and that click event propagated to its parent element which is this div and on this div we are handling the click event so for that we are seeing this message div clicked and from there it will also get propagated to its parent which is this header and there also we are handling a click event so again we will also see this alert message if i click ok we have seen that alert message also so this is event bubbling so i hope with these two examples now you understand how event bubbling works now let me get back the on click event handler on the button element okay now let's say when we click on this button we don't want event bubbling to happen when this button is clicked we only want to handle the click event on that button element so basically we want to stop the bubbling of the event from the child element to its parent elements how can we do that doing that is very simple so now here i will remove this code and here to this on click i am going to pass show click alert a function a javascript function which we are going to create you can name this anything let's go ahead and let's create this function and let me also save this file let's create this function in script.js file at the very bottom maybe and we are calling it show click alert and as we have learned since this function is going to act as an event handler function we are going to receive an event object here that same event object will be passed to this show click alert so here also let's call it as event you can name it anything you can also call it as e okay and what we are going to do is on this event we have a method called stop propagation and what this will do is it will stop propagation of event from the current element to its parent elements and after that let's display the alert message and here let's say button clicked so now what should happen is when the button is clicked it should only handle the click event on that button and it should not propagate that click event to its parent elements in this case to this div and to this header let's see if that's the case so when i click on this login button it shows this message button clicked that is okay because we are handling that click event on the button by calling this show click alert but when i click on this ok button you will not see this message div clicked or header clicked because now we are stopping the propagation of event from the child element to its parent elements by using this stop propagation method on the event object so i hope now you understand what is event bubbling and how we can stop event bubbling and as i said this is a very important interview question which you might be asked in a javascript interview so i hope in that way this lecture will be helpful for you this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day